everybody, we are here at the Cadillac Barn with my good friend John Pettigo. We've been knowing him a long time. Long time. Long time. How long has it been? That's a lot of history, a lot of years. I've known you, yeah, probably since I was 17 or 18. Mm -hmm. Before you were just Matt, probably the cat. Mm -hmm. You might have been Matt the splat at that point, or Matt the flaps. <laughs> and um, then I became Matt the fat. Yeah, Matt, <laughs> Matt the pancake. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but uh, so you, the, I think the first band I was aware that you had was, was Slick 57. Is that correct? That is true. Yeah. So yeah, Ward, Richmond, and I started uh, Slick 57 back in the day, and we probably mm -hmm. played at you and probably gave you tapes that yeah. I'm sure you just dove right into. Oh, I, I cherish them. That's right. You celebrate your entire catalog. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. And then, of course, Boys Named Sue. Boys Named Sue, that's right. And the O's. And the O's. I spent, yeah, a better part of the last. 10 years with the O's. And then of course recently I just started uh, my own little solo thing called the Magic Pilsner, Pettigo's mm -hmm. Magic Pilsner. Mm -hmm. Well, I hear it's really so, something great. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, if you want the heavy story, so the long story short, actually the long story long, I'll just okay, tell you that. Just and, do that. And, and this will be up to Steve to uh, edit, so have fun with this. Um, it's basically, so my dad got sick a couple years ago, he got cancer. And uh, my brother and I had to run his business, and so it kind of stopped the O's from touring. For we we we'd still play. We only you know we went from 160 dates basically a year to 80 mm -hmm. in a year. So anyway, so I had all this time. I was writing some songs and trying to learn how to sell medical supplies, which was not going very well for my brother or I or me. Um, and then it, eventually, I was like, oh, I'll just record these songs just to have them. And then one thing led to another, and then at that point, State Fair Records got involved, and it was like, well, what's the point of recording five? Why don't I record ten? Mm -hmm. So then I recorded a whole album, and it came out in March, and yeah, we've been touring behind it as much as we can, and uh, onward and onward. You know? Yeah, do you still have to, are you still managing your dad's business? No, we, we sold it in December mm -hmm. last year, finally, okay. and that was a... It was a heavy, heavy load off. Yeah. Is he still fighting? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Last May, he passed on. But I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, it's ter it's like, it's a weird, it's a really, it's a, I don't know. That's a bitter, sweet thing. At least I have like something, I don't know, I played him the music, you know, yeah. before he yeah, yeah, went yeah. on and it was cool because he got to hear it. And I don't know, it was, it was a pretty, uh, pretty special moments in the end and everything. Well. I understand, because I've had that happen to me as well. So uh, that's a that's a that's a show you don't want a seat to. No, you know, no. Like it's 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 there's nothing too much good to be said about that whatsoever, except to say, sorry that happened. You know what I mean? No, and yeah. the silver lining, if if you have the, the music to to uh, to celebrate and sort of be able to play it for him, and, and he, I'm sure he was proud of it and everything like that. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, that's that's all I could ask for. You know, and. It does, it, it, I don't know, it, it, it's, it makes it weird for me when I'm promoting it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because it's not like, I don't know, it's this piece of, I don't know, reverence or it's a piece of homage or whatever. Man, I yeah. know exactly how you feel because I recorded a solo record in the wake of my dad's passing. And I can tell you that whether it's apparent to the listener or not, that half of those songs are directly at least half, if not more, are directly related to that year uh, when that happened and the experience and, and everything that you, you're looking at and dealing with. And you see, you never stop dealing with it. Right, so. right. Because, I mean, the song may not be about him or, you know, something yeah. he did, but, I mean, it, I went, I'm not going to write that song because I'm not in that mindset, yeah. you know. I might be right. Like, the other songs tend to be poppier mm -hmm. and kind of a little more happy-go-lucky, and then this was kind of just... I don't know, dealing with darkness. Yeah, <laughs> you know, degree, it becomes a you know. sort of necessary therapeutic thing. Yeah, it, yeah. It did for me anyway. So like, uh, 100%. And where can people get it? Well, you can find it on Amazon. Don't what they call that? <laughs> Itens, I think the other site. Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's on that one. It's on, so it's on the majors. You, uh, you can find it on all those. And uh, so, yeah, I hope everybody just... Hope we get inundated with sales. 
Yeah, and or on the websites uh, or magic, streams or streams. I mean, that's yeah. where we make our real money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's good. Literally fractions of a penny. Oh my god, it's so depressing. Yeah, it, and there's no way. Like, I think when we started, there was a model in playing music where you would get in your van, you'd tour, you'd sell, and then eventually you get you know more people would come, and you know what I mean, and you yeah. just keep doing it. And now it's like that doesn't do anything, right? Because then you go to the show and you're not selling any merchandise. Well, see, the model still exists. They just streamlined it and took the money out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a model. Yeah. They want to confuse the whole issue with money. Come on. Let's just make it about the music. Yeah, yeah. Man. It used to be a business model. Now it's just like an actual plastic model. Right. Like, oh, look at that yeah, train. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, right. It's just not even real. It's, it's yeah. a toy. Well, I tell you what, if you want to check out uh, his art project, <laughs> you can you can look look up Pedagogue's Magic Pilsner on all anywhere music is sold yes. or downloaded or it's true on all, know, it's on all of it and you can find it here at the Cadillac Barn. You're gonna play a song for us, I guess. I am or a song or maybe even two. Yeah, well, you tell me. You're all the right. boss. Cool. No, yeah, you all run the show. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you know that. You are. How do you like the bar? Well. I will hang out here all the time. There so you go. I want to find out your schedule and then I want to find a special Uber driver that will just kind of continually drag yeah. me here and then drive me back. It'll probably I, be me. Okay, cool. I live in Lake <laughs> Island now. Try to, so trying to <laughs> just down the road. supplement the income. <laughs> That's right. That's all good. Right. Well, cool. We're going to get uh, this guy to play some songs for us. Thanks to my buddies in 1100 Springs. I hope you have subscribed and liked their page. This is a song of mine called. Comics Last Stand. All I ever done is lie to everyone, try to cause a scene from a song I'd sung. But nothing ever comes from a comic's lasting Left telling jokes to the bottle in his hand To keep from crying I keep laughing Holding on to the things to keep us young Every day we feel the strings pull undone Although you live one foot in the grave I don't roll that way I don't roll that way Once I was a thief, sailed the seven seas A chicken's lost beak because I followed you nowhere I should have, I could have, but I'd never have dared I spent a whole life running from what I always feared To keep from crying I keep laughing Holding on to the things that keep us young Every day we feel the strings pull undone Although you live one foot in the grave I don't roll that way I Queen of the South 
quick to ride still sticks with me now but you don't care what the people say or the promise we shared the damage you done with a dead-eyed stare to keep from crying I'll keep laughing Holding on to the things that keep us young Every day we feel the strings pull undone